Hey, what's up everyone? This is Mushroom Cake here. So, um, today I'm gonna go th through the uh, Royal Garden builds uh, I've made for Massacre Survival Solo, Wave 23 start. Um, uh, a lot of people are stuck after uh, Alk Labs farming the survival. Uh, so, this build is gonna be geared towards uh, people who have farmed Alk Labs Survival and who have geared geared with the uh, loot from uh, Alk Labs. So I'm, su I'm assuming people will have between 5k and 6k uh, defense power. And yeah, I'm just gonna go through it. So, um, Royal Gardens is the easiest, uh, or, uh, in my opinion, it's the e easiest uh, Act 3 map. Uh, at first I thought it was gonna be Arcane Library, but like, uh, because of, there, were, there isn't any copters there. But there seemed to be a limited amount of DU, so, and after the nerf to to pr prom uh, defense unit, I believe it's going to be easier to run Royal Gardens since there's a th uh, 130 defense unit there. So yeah, uh, in Royal Gardens, the drop will there will be drops with more than a 400 uh, upgrades, like this boots that I got from one of my Royal, Royal Gardens uh, run, and there's also going to be a nice giraffe. This is one I got. There was almost more than a thousand points uh, in every builder stats, but like, uh, yeah, there, it was only missing ranged, and I dropped like a uh, uh, thirty-seven points to make it a hundred to a thousand to make like a, a round number. So yeah, you're gonna have some very nice giraffes and some four hundred uh, and more upgrades on the loot there. They are pretty rare though, so I only got one uh, four hundred plus in uh, f about four runs. So yeah, let's go in the map. Alright, so we are in Royal Gardens uh, Massacre Hardcore Survival Wave 23. And alright, so uh, the, f the key to this map is really understanding how the spawns work. So we have our regular uh, enemy spawners here. We have a double lane here and a triple lane here because we're going to do one choke point here and another here. So uh, those are regular uh, spawns, there are nightmare enemies as you can see, and there are siren spawns also here and here. Uh, okay, so enough for that. Uh, the north and the south, or like I call them, the side lanes, they are only uh, they only have trash mobs as you can see with, with no nightmare enemies and no siren spawn. So these are going to be easier, but like they're a bit tricky, they kind of they have like a theme so here it's the range uh, spawn I believe because there's the mage and a lot of archers and north uh, it's uh, I believe it's the cobalt lane yeah exactly 84 cobalts so yeah all right and also there's gonna be two guaranteed ogres that's gonna that are gonna spawn from here and there's an additional random ogre that, that can spawn from any uh, spawn so like uh, considering the, the the amount of doors, it's there. It's only gonna have one, uh, two chance on seven to spawn from uh, either this lane or this lane. So it's not so bad. Most of the time, the the random ogre will spawn from here or here. So so yeah, uh, those two are gonna be our weak lanes, and we will not have to worry as much about those two lanes as uh, this one and uh, the big lane here over here. So yeah, um. So uh, we're gonna go with three aura stacks, one here, one here, and one here. Uh, I have quite a lot of range on my monk, maybe not as many as a lot of people, but like uh, you'll still want at least, I believe, 3k range. Uh, and um, we're gonna buff uh, both their aura stack here and here with a single buff beam of five defense unit. So uh, just you you will need perhaps to like uh, update the placement of uh, the positioning of the. Those aura to make it uh, to make a five defense unit uh, buff beam reach uh, them both. You could go with a six defense unit uh, with the variation of the uh, of the build I'm gonna show later. So I'm just gonna start by placing the auras like this. Oh. All right, here perhaps. There we go. Uh, I, I'm gonna put an enrage here, and I'm gonna explain later why. So one enrage over here, and the next aura stack is going to be uh, a bit above of the bush here, so like this, a line in the middle, like this, there we go, alright, so we did all the auras, I can switch here to my apprentice. Alright, next we're going to do the 
gas traps. So there's gonna be one over here. One here. Alright, the gas trap, there's gonna be one on the bridge in the middle, about on this line here. It is gonna get the enemies below. And one oh, sorry. One on the top of this fountain here. So this is pretty much gonna guarantee that any gin that spawns here and here are gonna be gas eternally and they won't be uh, they won't be an issue at all on this map. I never had a gin despawn something on this map, so yeah, they're pretty easy. Okay, so here we're gonna put a gash up here aligned with this bush here. Like this. Uh, it, it is gonna get the um, the flyers, so the flyers will not be an issue also because of the gas traps and the aura stack. So here, um, same, we want to align this with this uh, kind of bush here, right in front on the other side here. So this is going to get the the the, uh, the wyverns from here and here. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty nice. Uh, I d I do have quite a lot of range on my uh, trap chest because I'm don't I don't use any inferno and explosive traps. So I do have four ab above 4k range, but you definitely don't need that much. I believe 3k will do the job. I haven't tested with anything lower, but like uh, you could try. Perhaps it's still gonna work. All right, so then I'm gonna move to my buff beams. So we're gonna have two buff beams on this map. One here, a four defense unit buff beam, like this. Uh, this will ensure that the range of this um, gas trap will reach like up over here. Perhaps here if you're like at 3k, but like 4k, I know it reaches it reaches gins over here. So they're all gonna be gassed. Alright, oh, my friend. Uh, recording a video from that. Oh, not the right friend. Sorry. It's a group chat, it's not. Um, you're in World Guardians. Currently recording a video. Recording a video. All right, so sorry about that. Now a five do buff beam here. Uh, where's my reference? I believe it's this one here. Like this, this little square here. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a, a bit on the line here, but like, like this. So, all right, this will do five deal buff beam. There we go. So we place all the buff beams. Uh, you, you. Uh, since I start at wave twenty-three, I do max upgrade this buff beam right at the start, and you can see the range of the. Of the oh, I want someone without a Mister Mines. <laughs> They're way too slow. So as you can see, the range of the aura, they will get all the enemies down here, but they won't. They won't. They won't get any damage. Uh, like until they get to this point. But that's what we want. You. I'll, I'll explain later. So all right, uh, we place the buff beams. All right, I don't need this. I don't need this uh, builder power EV anymore. I'm gonna switch to my square waller. I have a lot of fortify. Definitely don't need that much. I have over six, almost 6.5k. You definitely can run this map with 5k fortify on your on your square. So we want to place the wall here, and same thing on the north. Point. All right, like this. Um, Whoops, sorry. Sometimes I'm way too fast. Alright, there we go. So uh, the reason uh, you want it there and not perhaps like here is because uh, sometimes if you kill the copters a bit too late, the ogre will fall over here on the ground. If they fall here, they're, they're gonna be fine. They're gonna, they're gonna walk here and pound the wall over here. But like if they fall on the grass here, they're gonna actually walk over here and you don't want them wrecking all your towers over here. So. I placed a wall there for that, and also because there's like uh, 26 Dark Elf Assassins here, and they're basically gonna run over here, and you want them to get stuck on this wall. So, alright, uh, we did the square wall, so let's go with the EV wall. So, you want two 5 defense unit walls here, like this. Uh, you can run with 4, it does fit. The only thing is, uh, I like 5 defense unit walls because they have uh, more health. And we're gonna have a lot of overs here, so I just go with five. It just does the job for me. All right, and then we're gonna have a last wall over here. All right, I go with a four defense unit here. Don't put it too close to the crystal. Uh, if you put it way too close, uh, the ogres that are gonna be right in front that attack the wall are gonna hit the crystal like uh, on the tip of their little smashing, uh, smashing stick. So yeah, also go with the. Uh, 
reflect beams here because I do sometimes get random projectiles here. Um, so yeah, uh, like this. We'll go with two of one defense unit. You could try running without. I just like uh, putting the reflect beams here. Alright, so next we're gonna go to... Oh, I forgot. Uh, the shock beams. So shock beams are really, really good against sharks. I recommend everyone who has problem with shark using a shock beam. I place them with my uh, Waller EV cause, just because uh, they don't have a lot of charges. And I like, like a two defense unit shock beam here. As you can see, even with my Waller with uh, over 6k fortify, there's only uh, 83 charges. So we're gonna go with one here and another one here aligned with the bush too. Uh, two defense unit again. This is there we go. Two defense unit over here. All right. Uh, now down here, I also go with shock beams here. I go with uh, three defense unit shock beams aligned with this here. So three defense unit. There we go. And another one here. Come on, come on. Three defense. Unit. Nope, that was a four. Uh, the important thing with the shock beam, I'm gonna probably have another video on shock beams, is you don't want, you don't want them like too close from enemies because uh, you don't want trash mob trigger, triggering them and burning through your shock beam. But you also don't want to have them very close to the walls because you don't want ogre to like just stack up on the wall and uh, destroy your uh, shock beam. So I find this is a very good placement for shock beams. Here it's a little bit uh, tricky because I s often have those shock beams die because uh, they run out of charges. So just keep an eye on them. So we have 27 more defense unit. We're gonna go with uh, the apprentice here. I go with uh, five fireball towers. So four pointing north like this, like this, and like this, and only one pointing in this direction. It's gonna be mainly for gins and for sharks, but yeah, make sure they're all buffed. All right, and then I'm gonna switch to my reflect beam wall EV. I go to place two reflect beams. It's gonna be on the little squares here. It's my reference. Oh, it's a, that's not a reflect field. Uh, all right, so this square over here, and same thing over here. One defense unit, and same thing in the back, just to make sure they're gonna be fine. Alright, so uh, there's not going to be any projectiles coming from the side, so you can just leave it. It's going to be fine like this. And with that, the build is complete, so I'm just going to switch back to BPS. So, Alright, so this is the main build. So uh, what you will need to worry about, uh, you won't need to worry too much about this lane. In this lane, we have a triple crowd control. We have, the, we have three gas traps, one here, one here, and one over here. And uh, we have one Enrage Aura for fire crowd control. We have Poison with the with the Gas Trap, of course. And we have Shock Beams for a, a Lightning crowd control. So this will basically lock the, the lane. The idea with the Enrage Aura here is you want enemies to be enraged before they hit the auras here. So there's a lot of trash mobs. You want to use that to your advantage. So because the Enrage Aura only has 65% chance to enrage, you want as many mobs to be to be enraged as possible, so you place them here. You don't want to kill the mobs here. They're basically going to be stacked up all all over here because of the gas trap and the enrage aura, and they're actually going to block all the ogres coming in the back over here. They're going to be stuck because of all the enemies here. So that's what you want. If you do get a poison siren, don't worry. You have an enrage aura here and a lightning aura here. Now, very rarely, I do get a shark that passes like right over here in the middle. Uh, what you can do is just remove this gas trap and uh, place uh, and fill this area with shock beam. So basically, it's gonna be a shock beam, a five du shock beam or like this, five du, and a four du shock beam over here. This will basically block the lane, like this. If you're having any troubles, but I like running with the three du, two three du shock beams with the gas trap here. Uh, both setup work, so I tried them both, they both work, and there's no issue. So, alright, your lane with the most issues probably gonna be here if you get a lot of the copter ogres here. So just watch out over here. Um, alright, so for DPS, uh, you wanna stand on this tree over here. So, basically the assassin will aggro to this wall, and you're gonna get some that try to aggro to you, but they're gonna get stuck here below the tree, and they won't be able to hit you. Perhaps there's gonna be one or two that 
jumps on the tree and gets to you, but like it should be pretty fine. And uh, here you essentially want to ignore the map and just start killing the, uh, the copters here. You're gonna go in the rotation, you're gonna kill this one, then this one, this one, this one. It's just a clockwise ro rotation. Even if you have like a one, uh, one copter here and you see like the other one, uh, the second one right behind, just kill the closest one. One, two, three, like this. After you're done with the copters, you're probably gonna get maybe one ogre on this wall here. You can repair it from up top here. Uh, whoops, just don't move too close, like this. You can repair the wall like this. You can repair also this wall from up here and all the auras. So that's pretty much it. If you have any issues, just message me and uh, perhaps, um, uh, perhaps I can help. Perhaps if you have an idea for a better strategy, I'm also open to suggestions. So yeah. I'm gonna jump right, right to wave 25 and see how this run. So, yep, all right, this is wave 25 and I'm gonna just run this. And at the start, like I said, just kill the copters really fast. Don't be afraid to use your boost. So, as you can see, I just start up and boost and just kill all the copters. So that's one, two, and you just wanna go uh, clockwise like this. You, you could open your mini map at the start and see where the first copter is and kill them and then go clockwise like, like I do, like here. Um, even if you run out of your boost, it won't be an issue because you can still kill them uh, pretty quickly. Uh, you you are going to be a little, bit, a little bit late without the boost, uh, with my DPS at least. So, but like uh, the time I'm just going to do this, my boost is going to regenerate. So, you want to ignore the map uh, as now. I check the new map sometimes to see uh, which uh, elemental sirens I get because uh, poison sirens they're not an issue, but like I'm still going to have to watch my walls because the shock beam charge tend to go down very fast. So, yeah, my DPS Huntress is not the best. Uh, she's not weak, but like, she's not the best. Uh, I have a bit, about uh, close to 90 million DPS uh, with my Huntress boost and my cat in the tavern. Uh, I know some people have 100 million DPS. If you can do higher than me, then great. Uh, I wouldn't suggest going too low in DPS because you need to DPS all the copters yourself. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, uh, I had time to go back in my boost and kill all the, the copters. Uh, we're pretty much done with the copters, I believe. Uh, is it the last one? Yeah, it is the last one. So as you can see, there's one ogre on this wall here. The wall did not lose a lot of health, so we're good here. You can shoot through the, the tree, so uh, that's great. As you can see on the, at the bottom of the screen, there's a couple assassins trying to, uh, to attack me, but like they're stuck on the tree, they won't do any damage. Uh, so yeah, just jump and repair stuff. Uh, as you can see, there's one copter ogre. I'm not sure if it's a copter ogre or if it's the random ogre spawn. So yeah, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of mobs uh, uh, stuck there. There's an ogre that fi finally made it through. And I'm just going to clear the ogre very quickly. So yeah, come on. Yeah, do jump sometimes because the issue with a lot of stuck ogre is that there's going to be there's gonna be ogres from all directions and they're going to be shooting their projectiles. So just jump a couple of times. As you can see, all the mobs are locked in, in the big lane in the enrage aura. Uh, they're coughing from the gas trap and the enrage from the enrage aura, so they're blocking everything behind. So that makes this thing a lot more easier. When I try to wall closer, like uh, wall be, uh, below the bridge, oh, there's the random wall respawn. Uh, when I tried to wall uh, below the bridge, it was all constantly getting pushed by sharks, even with shock beams. So I just decided to put the walls back there, and it works wonderfully. Uh, Alright, we're gonna clear the ogres. Uh, we're gonna clear the uh, random wall respawn before because he can actually uh, kill the crystal, so. Uh, he can damage a crystal, and the copy ogres, like we know, they don't damage the crystal, so just make sure they don't kill your walls, and you should be fine. As you can see, the walls barely lost some life. Don't forget to repair the shock beams. They're maxed there. And yeah, you might need to repair the auras one or twice during the round, but it's not that much of an issue compared to like an Alk Labs or something like that, because most of them you tend to die. Uh, uh, it doesn't cover the all the enemies. Trash Mob can die before we're reaching the auras, which makes... Uh, the aura health go, go down a bit slower, so that's that. Alright, I repaired all the auras, and yep, repaired the shock beams like I said. The shock beams down there, uh, they rarely die for me. Uh, it's mostly the ones from the um, from the east lane, the triple lane, uh, triple spawn lane that usually die. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuck in me here. You can clear the enemies there. Uh, I like clearing the ogres, but like you don't have to, they're actually stuck there. But I just don't like having ogres that throw projectiles at me. And as you can see, uh, the flag team working harder in the back here. Um, so just clear the ogres. There we go, one more left. And it's almost done. So, and all the enemies, as you can see, they're all enraged over there. And uh, 
As you can see, the, the fire tower, where, which is pointing towards the, the enrage or lane, it tends to go also for spiders on the side, so that that's great. We don't want the we don't want the fire tower killing all the enemies. We want it to clear sometimes a couple times the lane, but like the the trick with the enrage aura is keeping as many enemy enrage as you can and making them block the path. So I'm just gonna uh, clear the lane at the end, the enrage aura lane. Uh, I'm gonna repair everything else and make sure everything runs smooth. So yeah, I did get a random ogre which kind of glitched. Uh, during this uh, the, the wave 24, but like uh, it's all good. I killed it. it. It spawned from the south and went to the core. Uh, basically, at the other, it went like not the. It went toward the crystal, but, like uh, not toward the blockade, like the the opposite side, which is kind of weird. It's the first time, uh, as you can see, the blockade's here, but like the ogre went up to the crystal uh, uh, on the opposite side on the opposite side, which is really weird, it only happened to me once uh, and I run the map like 10 times I believe, so it might have just been a glitch, but you do want to watch out for that, but like I said, uh, there's only two chance on 7 that the, old, the random ogre is going to spawn from either south or north, your two weak lanes without any nightmare enemies, so it should be pretty uh, pretty smooth uh, most of the time, so yeah, we're almost done here, the enemies are stuck in the gas trap, just clear it with a phoenix if you can. Uh, there, there we go with the spider, uh, the final spider wave, and this is, we pre it's pretty much GG from here because uh, all the nightmare enemies except the spiders are dead, everything is repaired, there's no more ogres, you, you basically won uh, right at this point, so yeah, you're, at this point sometimes I kill a couple enemies, I just see how many golly, golly drops I have. Um, the thing was, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna see the the item power and the number of upgrades on the loot, it's not that much higher from labs. Perhaps you get like uh, more 330 uh, ups uh, gear here than uh, in Alk Labs, but you can get 400 ups and more uh, loot from this map. They are pretty rare, but you can have them. So, yeah, uh, the, you also get uh, very nice giraffes over here, so this is definitely a map worth farming if you can't do uh, uh, any more difficult maps, uh, perhaps Summit or Glitterhelm. This is a go. This is a nice map to farm after all clubs. So uh, it worked. Pretty, uh, I jumped into this map right after all clubs. So there we go. We finished the. Uh, we cleared the map solo. It's not that hard. You see up there, 337 up. Uh, Golly over here. We have. There's there's kind of a lot of Gottlies. Uh, I get about like four Gottlies per run per wave. I mean, uh, so it's definitely not bad. So yeah, I'm just checking the the drops here. There's a uh, gloves here, and it's actually not bad, uh, but this stat, I suppose it could be used on a DPS. Uh, this is not very good. Uh, Alright, there's no more gollies over here. Alright, uh, let's go see the chest. Uh, no golly over here. Is it a golly? Oh, I see a golly weapon over there. Uh, yeah, not very good. I suppose it could be used on a builder, but like my builder monk already has a... Nice poem. So, oh, we got a golly giraffe, and very nice golly giraffe, as you can see. It was actually the one I showed at, at the beginning of the video, because uh, I recorded the video after the run. So this is actually a voiceover. It's difficult to concentrate while uh, shooting a video. So there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I might do other videos in the future. So yeah, see you later.